Hi, this is Chris Terrell. In this video, we're going to essentially take a data set which we have here. We're going to get rid of some of these rows um, and um, do it all within an array. There's probably a more elegant way to do this, uh, but this is a great way to learn a loop within a loop with an if statement. Um, gets you some more learning. We're also going to add some error handling um, in here as well. So let's go ahead and get coding. So we're going to call this loop array delete. Um, what, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to declare our array. So we're going to call our, uh, not our array. We're going to declare our range, um, which is RNG is what I'm going to call it. We're going to set the range equal to sheet one dot cells one comma one dot current region. And what that's going to do is this is sheet one. Um, you'll notice uh, sheet one is called sheet one. I've not changed the code name there. The reason why I do that is because uh, when you do your code, if I go RNG and I hit dot, I get some auto intel auto uh, some auto code options there, which makes life a lot easier. So we're going to go O array is equal to RNG. Uh, essentially, we're transferring this current region, which is a range, into range, and we're going to do an input box. So it's going to be I box is equal to input box and we're going to go enter mpg over x and then it's just going to be mpg All right so we've got we're basically collecting um our uh what do we want? We want only cars in this list, which I showed you, to be over X amount of you know miles per gallon. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do for RW equals two to U bound O array. I got to spell it correct, and then I almost always will put in my next, put in the little tab there. We're going to go if o array rw, put in a parenthesis there. I was living if o array rw, one is less than or equal to i box times one, then. Okay. Let me just talk to this real quick. We're going to go through this loop, right? Um, I box is always going to pull in text, right? So, quick quick trick here is essentially we're going to times it by one excel is like oh i can actually do some math on this it looks like a number um we're going to go and if on that um and so this will actually for everything that um our miles per gallon is less than um our i box um what we end up doing is we're going to essentially do for cl equals one to u bound o array comma two and then I put my next in just to keep my code simple and then we're gonna go o array rw comma cl is equal to blank so let me talk through this. Um, as we run through the code, you'll actually see what happens. But essentially, if this criteria is met, it's we're going to essentially blank out that entire row. So now what we're going to do is we essentially have cleared out that row. So um, in essence, what we would have is we would have an, our array. Now this is our sheet. This row would be blank because it would be all zeros. So now how do we get to um, sorting this, we're going to send this back to um, our range and it'll have a bunch of blanks in there. Well, that's great. Um, now what we want to do is we just want to sort it. So we're going to go range sort and then um, I have found that the easiest way to do sorts are this way, which is column uh, columns one dot XL descending um, and this 
if I can type it correct, is actually a, the essence of my code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some stops here so that we can just see what happens. Um, so and hopefully not have any errors. Okay, so we're going to run this. I'm going to grab here. We're going to go back to here. Um, now I do have a raw data set here so I can go back and fix it. But if I run this, it's going to put in my code, which I'm going to say, essentially let's do everything over 20, uh, 20 miles per gallon. So I'm going to click OK. Now when I hit F8 on this, um, it is essentially going to um, make this look really funky because what's happened is, is in, in this array it blanked out all those rows so I have an array with a bunch of blanks in here but that actually works pretty nice because if now all I have to do is sort that and now I've sorted and I have everything um, that's over 120 so now let's add in a little error handling because what will happen when you have code is you're going to have some error. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to put in an exit sub. So we're going to go exit sub. Um, this is where we're going to put all of our error handling. So we're going to go num error. And then we're going to put in our message uh, in SG box which essentially says um, we're doing the error handling around the I box. So if the I box, we're going to go, please enter a number. And I'm doing this a little bit backwards, but you'll get it once we get this. VB, OK only. And then we're going to go number error. Okay, this is our little error handler. Now, Excel will do this slightly different than some other code, um, but essentially, um, this is kind of how all hair handling is handled. Um, we're gonna call this next try. Now, what we wanna do is, this is where our error is gonna happen. So we need to put in a, uh, a little error handler here that says, um, on error, go to, num error right so what's going to happen here is if we do have an error here um, and the error would happen right here if we put in hey three typed out three we would get an error so what we're going to do here is we're going to go if i box equals blank then exit sub right so this this allows a uh, a little air handling because essentially if you didn't put this in um, every time you would hit here you would get an error um, and then that would cause some issues because well that would cause some big issues because you'd have an infinite loop there so that is something that we need to put in as well uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to go i box equals i box times one which would cause our error and now what we're going to do is we're going to walk through this line by line and cause some errors and just walk you through what actually happens. This is really one of the nice things about Excel um, and coding Excel um, is that, uh, see it gave me an error because it did not like next try. So I'm gonna put next try right here. Um, now when I run this, we shouldn't have any problem, but we're actually gonna walk through this. So I'm gonna go one by one. I'm going to put a blank in here um, it found that I box is equal to one. I'm going to exit, exit sub, sub is finished. So now let's add in text, which obviously is not going to work. It says, please enter the number. Um, I'm gonna hit cancel. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little blocker in here so that we can walk through each piece. So we kind of know what's going on. So we hit play, we put in a random thing that will not be multiplied by one. What happens is, is it comes here. This actually throws the error. Remember on error, we go to num error, which we come down here. This gives us the message box. We hit F8, please enter a number. We go to next try. It goes back up to this line and comes on down. So now we could put in, let's put in 25. We click okay 
and you'll notice that it runs just fine. So that is uh, a great way to learn about arrays, about ranges, about sorting, about loops within loops. Um, I know that this was pretty fast, but we do have the code here. Um, I would recommend uh, that we that you go to the download link, uh, grab this file, and play around yourself. Hope you enjoyed.